Hi Cancer, welcome to your end of February 2021, I mean 22, general tarot update. It's Raina here. Okay, so I'm doing this um, reading on the full moon of Leo, and um, this happens to be at um, 28 degrees. It's one of the latter, later degrees of Leo, and um, this is in your second house of earned income. So. Uh, I, I'm not surprised that I got some pentacles because that would, and even the devil card is connected. It has a pentacle too because it's connected to Capricorn earth energy. The heart of the matter is the uh, four of wands. And um, this is a card of a new home, marriage, family, but there's a happy, you can see the people kind of happy and celebrating. And... Um, so this can be, if you have um, purchased a new home or um, this is something that is on the radar for you um, or gotten married or anything along those lines, um, there's a, you know, four is a number that's associated with Saturn, so it's all about the stability and foundations and things like that, like a square is a foundation. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to think about anything else that has been recent astrologically involved. Um, and this is this can be just anything that has a domestic angle to it that is front and center in your reality in the past position we have the devil card which is associated with your opposite sign capricorn so uh yeah and there is some capricorn energy i'm trying to think of um planets that are in this seventh house for you so uh but this is as you can imagine this is um kind of a <laughs> a negative uh influence or a challenging energy the the chains between these two naked people with horns really speak to lust speak to um you know so it could be like temptation sexual temptation maybe through an affair um and with the venus retrograde going through capricorn that might have been somebody some ex that was an ex husband ex-wife because uh, it it went through the seventh house for you, um, but the, this card is also associated with lust. I mean, with um, materialism. So, like with the the four of wands, if this is related to a house, um, there may have been. You know, it, it might be that you are looking at this issue from. The materialistic point of view instead of what is a, a real happy home is a happy home a mcmansion and so it's something that gratifies the ego that you can show off and say look how successful i am or is is it the status of the relationship within the home and can could you live in a cottage a tiny home um an apartment and have like a blissful experience and live in this very big dwelling and have hell you know it really it really has no um, bearing on the uh the outer trappings it's really more of an internal thing so it could be like 
having to keep up with the Joneses and have something that is beyond, you know, so you, so you're, you're working a job that you really don't like in order to maintain this thing or that you are possibly going to enter into something like that. That's another, you know, way that you can look at it. The higher message is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a card associated with, um, Taurus. And it's this kind of a plodding energy, but it's a very consistent energy. It's the workhorse. It's the person who just puts in their, the daily grind type of thing. But not, I'm, you know, I'm saying these kind of negative terms, but really in a positive sense, you know, just kind of going and doing what you have to do. So it might be that situation where you're moving away from a negative thing and, and you want to just, and it, to me, it can even be just like a, a job that you're just doing to make money. That's how I see it too. And as the higher message, it can be, if you're trying to transition your life from kind of this overly materialistic life to something more simple and, and wholesome, um, you may come up with a, a plan where you're working, maybe you're working two jobs and you are um, trying to, to simplify things because you realize what's really important in life. Now, if these are two people that you're choosing from, one could be a Capricorn and one could be even younger than you, but kind of a lively Taurus person. Both of these might be compatible with a Cancer individual. I said might. I'm, nothing is ever 100%, right? Um, what crosses you is the Two of Swords, and this is a card of being at the horns of a dilemma. So maybe it is two people that you're choosing from. And you see that she, it looks like a woman, is blindfolded, and the moon is in the background, which can also indicate deception. But the person, this is why I say this over and over again, in my feeling it is... Um, a false decision sometimes like, oh, you know, I don't know if I should be with this person or that person. And maybe neither one is the right person for you. Um, you're just trying to, maybe you're just flailing around and you're trying to find somebody to, um, be that, you know, when I think of the four of wands, be that that other person like a spouse take over from for a spouse take the place of a spouse and not really um take take seriously how does this person really um interact with you if you have children because the four of wands can be your family you know do do they react well with them you know what is really at stake here so that the person isn't just um, acting like people are, um, what's that word? Kind of like, um, not expendable, but that you can replace one with the other because that doesn't work that way. Um, and, uh, yeah. And the devil can be a narcissistic personality too. So they can bring out the worst in you. And you, you know, if they are an ex and you're really thinking like maybe now they've changed and maybe they're acting like so innocent or great that could lure you into this false sense of um, safety when they they have no intention of being any different than they are. What's coming in is the three of wands. That's that feeling of freedom and expansion and what I think this can mean is that you've outgrown a situation and yes maybe somebody did come back from your past um, and maybe uh, if this is work related maybe you were like that in the past and now you are different now you have grown and and you no longer have that sense of grasping there's a term in yoga a period Apiraha, I can't, gaha, I can't, I, but it means grasping and it's supposed to represent greed. 
which the devil card is. I like the term grasping because greed sometimes makes a person seem so sleazy and things like that. But grasping is just means to me it's like fear-based. It's like I have to have all these things because if I don't, I have to have... I have to make X amount of money. I have to have, you know, this type of lifestyle or else I'm not worthy or I'm not safe. And, and so the three of wands is really about that kind of individual growth that allows you to expect more from life. Because if you're just in that first chakra of security, it's very hard to, you know, the second chakra is, you know, creativity. And, and so it just kind of builds from there. But if you're just like trying to stay alive, I mean, I don't think that that's what we came for. It's just to keep our bodies alive and make sure that we have enough food and shelter. Yeah, those things obviously are important, but that's not the end all be all, in other words. And if you're just living on that level, then you have to expect that your life is going to be very narrow and not more magical and more, um, you know, adventurous you know the three of wands can be adventurous too and the outcome is the page of pentacles this can be a new relationship especially with an earth sign some this could be a message about money message about work being a student um so if you have been feeling like there's some other career that you want for yourself you might be just working a regular job just to pay the bills while you are uh, going back to school or getting some training. It doesn't have to be at a college or anything. A training to be something else. Um, but that, yeah, it can be, a, you can receive a little bit of money uh, for some reason. And uh, you might feel that you're on the right path because you have, you know, made a decision that is going to, you know, ma making a decision with a more open mind sets. Okay, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.